the videos I'm I'm trying to make them a little bit better and I wanted to say that I ordered some new parts for my car the 67 today I ordered a new aluminum radiator just one of those uh, $120 Chinese eBay specials and uh, it's it's got to be better than that V6 front wheel drive radiator I've got wired to it might might make it a little less rice rice you know but uh, <clears throat> I also ordered a uh, set of spider gears for a positive traction unit for my 12 volt and I want to show you this, this a little bit here in a, a little bit of it in a second but uh, I don't know how long it'll be for the 67's radiator to get in and I don't know how long it'll be for the rear end parts to come in but I do know that uh, the rear end is going to take a little bit to fit even if I had everything right now if I had everything for this right now it's going to take a little bit of time but I wanted to show you so I guess I'll uh, quit yapping and show you this Now there's a video about this, the, tr the rear end, when I took it out of that car, and uh, way back in that video, it was mentioned, and they're, and they're probably right, that that rear end is probably bent. I would say, more than likely not probably, that it more than likely is. It's probably bent, but I can, I can make that work. I've been stripping stuff out of it like the fill plug and it had half half of the control arms left on it. Like I cut them off. So I took all that stuff off. I still have to take that backing plate off and uh, the pinion out. And then I can take it to town and wash it. I'd like to soak it in something like an oven cleaner so it might uh, get some of the caked on dirt out because you I don't know if you can see it because you can tell or not but there's a difference in the rust color between here and up all the way that was a mud line it's full of mud and it just dried out turned into dust and dirt you know but the pinions locked well almost locked down I mean if you grab the back of it you can kind of Move it a little, but it's not, it's not one that's going to rotate. The reason I bought uh, spider gears is I came up with this 3 Series carrier, pause attraction carrier, that uh, was missing the gears, but it had the clutches and plates and all that stuff so I found those cheap which they're Dyna branded you know uh, replacement branded for that pause attraction unit which I, I that's what that's supposed to be anyway so we'll find out I guess might not be a Dyna unit but it had Dyna replacement parts and uh I bought that it came in and this is the thing that'll aggravate it aggravated me and I'll say and I'll tell you this as why when I bought this one it was used as swap meet well it's it's got some wear about 15 thousandths wear even compared to this one and that has been broken and welded back that was brand new free shipping for $18. It measures the same as this one. So, 
that was the one with the new gears so now it's got uh, a new bearing retainer too and I took the tail housing back off of it and put the speedometer gear on the main shaft so now it has a speedometer it's the only one it does so I hope you have liked the video uh, I mostly did it just to update you and I didn't have a video to upload so I'm trying to keep it at least one a week I missed it I've been trying to upload it on, upload it on Sunday but I didn't have I didn't have one. Oh, and I also found some front end parts. There's multiple sets of 67 headlight bezels. They're all rough, but they're also all super sport. You know, it won't really make all that much difference, but Malibu's, that's not painted black. Like this. This is a Malibu part. It came off that blue car I cut the back off of. If that was a Super Sport, those, some of this through here would have been black on both of those. But, uh, you know, you gotta, gotta use what you got. I can paint that stuff. And I, I don't know if you have noticed, but in my driving video, in my driving video, the uh, grill's black. Somebody painted a grill black. So, uh, since all these parts are rough anyway, I might just scuff everything and shoot it in a semi-gloss or a satin black and just black out the grills black out the grill black out everything I have some painted bumpers I might paint them black too and uh, just all the trim on the car I may just paint black and just semi murder it out you know just black also just, I've been doing little things, but I haven't been recording it. That's one of the outer A pillars. I straightened, I straightened both of them because those are a pain to get off, and they're a real pain to get off if you're trying to reuse them. If you're just going to replace them, they're not that hard to get off. That's close, wasn't it? Piece of dirt. But, uh, I guess that's it. I want to thank you for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you think the video is a little bit better. I think I look worse. But anyway, thank you.